in a reinforced soil block wall project. Block casting is critical and affects the quality and timeliness of the construction. For example, if the project involves constructing four flyovers over 50 kilometers, the first step is to identify the location of the casting yard or yards that are optimally located as per the chainage plan to reduce the block transportation distance. In this example, two casting yards may be identified to optimize transportation. The next crucial step is to plan an efficient yard layout. This requires a detailed study of the site conditions to optimize ground utilization, maintain an operational yard in all weather conditions, provide safe access between production and storage areas, and reduce effort in material management. A typical casting yard has ready access from a main road. The main access takes us to the material area where coarse and fine aggregates are stored. A shed is constructed to protect equipment and on the other side of the shed is the way batcher. The way batcher measures predetermined quantities of the different aggregates. The measured aggregates from the way batcher are transported on a conveyor to the concrete mixer. At the other end of the shed is a diesel generator for the casting yard equipment. Cement bags are protected from the weather in the shed. The cement is also transported to the concrete mixer on conveyor belts. The aggregates, cement and water in measured quantities, are mixed in the concrete mixer. After thorough mixing, the mixture is again transported on conveyors to the casting machine. The mixture is poured in molds and green blocks are made in the casting machine. The finished green blocks are filled in racks and transported with forklifts to the green block storage area. After the green blocks have hardened typically in 24 hours, they are transported and unloaded in block storage areas. The casting yard preparations involve constructing a shed, building a foundation for the machines, preparing the material storage area, the block stacking areas, with the sprinkler system, etc. Three major equipment components are required, the batch mixing plant, the block casting machine, and the generator sets. Finally, the specialist casting team starts the operations. The green blocks are taken to the hold area, using a forklift to be stacked in racks. After the green blocks achieve sufficient strength, they are shifted to the final stocking area. This process is repeated, with green blocks being moved daily from green area to the final stocking areas. The blocks are cured for 14 days using a sprinkler system. Now, the blocks that have been cured for 14 days are ready to be used for the construction of the flyover.